I'm Natalia Bonner. Welcome back. Happy Monday. I'm super excited to be here and share another fun quilt. Y'all know I love custom machine quilting. I love hand guided quilting and that's exactly what I get to share with you today. So this adorable quilt is one that was made by my client Christy and she sent it to me for some custom machine quilting. On this quilt I really wanted the trees to stand out and kind of pop something heavier in the background that would allow the trees to pop. So today I'm going to be sharing how to machine quilt this adorable pebble swirl background filler. Now I do have a brand new video available in the Peace and Quilt Academy over on our website peaceandquilt.com. In that video I will walk you through my process custom machine quilting this quilt from start to finish. Now there are a few hidden details that I added in here. I actually used my Statler stitcher to help me stitch out a few fun snowflakes and hide these throughout the backing. And then through my trees, I quilted some fun feathers. And I even included three different thread colors on the top. So you definitely wanna check out that video in the Peace and Quilt Academy. What you'll be seeing here today will be quilting using my Scammel 22 inch machine here. I am going to be stitching in the stitch regulated mode and I do have my stitch length set at 13 stitches per inch. The thread that I'm going to be using here is So Fine color number 451, a nice bright white thread on my top. And then on my bobbin, I do have the new pre-wound bobbins by Superior Threads. I chose to go with a nice neutral, it's actually kind of a brown color, a nice color that matched the backing on this quilt. And I will stick with that thread color throughout this whole quilt, even when I switch to red thread or the white thread, and I'm also going to use some brown thread. I'll stick with that same color on my bobbin the whole entire time. The batting that I'm using here today to create this awesome loft and texture is one layer of the Quilter's Dream wool. All right, friends, let's hop over to my machine and let's get stitching. I love how this background filler turned out on this quilt. Honestly, originally I had planned to just quilt swirls as the whole background filler and add in a few of those little hidden snowflakes. But once I got this quilt on my machine and was ready to start quilting, I felt like I just needed something else to help add to the whimsy of this quilt. So by adding in some random pebbles, it really made the effect that I was looking for. So here you can see that I have already added an echo stitch to the outside of that tree. I've also done a bit of quilting, a few fun feathers and some other elements on the tree. In the exclusive Peace and Quilt Academy video, I will walk you through my process of machine quilting, all of that, why I do what I do. So don't forget to enroll in the Peace and Quilt Academy at any time on our website, peaceandquilt.com. For this background filler, I start out by stitching a fun swirl. Anytime I stitch a swirl, I'm always thinking ahead, thinking about leaving myself an out. So as I'm swirling into the center, I'm making sure that I leave enough space to stitch right back out of there. Once I've stitched a few swirls, alternating directions, making some big and some small, then I'll randomly add in a few pebbles, maybe three or four pebbles, not a whole lot, but just a few. Once I've stitched a few of those pebbles, then I'll stitch a few more swirls and repeat that process. Now, one thing to remember with a design like this, I like my quilting to be really consistent all over. So I'll use the pebbles or echoes to fill in as much as possible.
I love how this design turned out. It's so much fun on this super cute Christmas tree quilt. Don't forget to subscribe to the Peace and Quilt Academy through our website, peaceandquilt.com, where you will gain access to over a hundred exclusive machine quilting videos. You won't want to miss out. Find all the details at our website, www.peaceandquilt.com. Have a great day, everybody.